definition of trigonometric functions domain and a range of the trigonometric functions you now kalti dene we have drawn the graph of trigonometric functions already you know that the trigonometric ratios of standard angles of the trigonometric functions the ratios of or the standard angles of trigonometric functions you know that multiple of 15 degrees are called the standard angles and also you know the trigonometric ratios of or trigonometric functions of quadratic angles pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 Here you know that sine function zero is zero pi by six means half pi by four is equal to one by root two pi by three is root three by two pi by two is equal to one and quadratic angles pi by two is one pi is zero and three pi by two is minus one and two pi is zero. The similarly cos function zero is one pi by two is zero and pi is minus one three pi by two is zero and two pi is one. tan function 0 is 0 pi by 2 is not defined and pi is 0 3 pi by 2 is not defined and 2 pi is 0 cot function is 0 is not defined pi by 2 is 0 and pi is not defined 3 pi by 2 is 0 and 2 pi is not defined second function 0 is 1 and pi by 2 is not defined pi is minus 1 3 pi by 2 is not defined 2 pi is And cosecant functions zero is not defined. Pi by two is one. Pi is not defined. Three pi by two minus one and two pi is minus one. And also you know that the sine is different quadrant. In the first quadrant means you know that this one is zero to pi by two. We set the way for first quadrant. Pi by two to pi is or the second quadrant. And pi to three pi by two is set to be a third quadrant. And three pi by two to pi is set to be a fourth quadrant. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. In first quadrant, all trigonometric functions are positive. In second quadrant, sine and its reciprocal cosecant is positive. In third quadrant, tan and its reciprocal cot is positive. And in fourth quadrant, cos and its reciprocal cosecant is positive. Here we know that suppose x is increases. These are the Ordinary axis. This one is horizontal line is x-axis. The vertical line is set to be y-axis. Suppose the values of x increasing left to right, and y is also increasing, then you say that the curve is supposed like this forms. X increase are like the y increase are part of that. This curve is always in all directions. This curve is set to be increasing functions. And x is increases. Y is also increases. This curve is increasing functions. If x values h b are there, y values h b are there. Therefore, this function is an increasing function. In that case, the curve is always upward directional. In that case, the similarly suppose the curve is like this forms. When x increases are there, but the y is a decreasing form. In that case, this curve is decreasing curve. He said to the curve is always downward directions. Using the help of this, you draw the graph of the trigonometric functions. The first one is, you know that in zero to pi by two, all trigonometric functions are positive. In zero to pi by two, implies in the first quadrant. In first quadrant, sine function is starting from zero. Zero is less than half. Half is less than one by root two. One by root two is less than root three by two. Root three by two is less than one. Therefore, it is increasing from zero to one. We are know that in first quadrant sine function is starting from zero, zero to one. This one is increasing forms. Therefore, we know that the four directions curve is always a four directions from zero to one. Starting from zero, its end point is equal to one. It's clear. The next one is the in pi by two to pi sine function is a positive function. It is in pi by two sine function is one. And in pi, its value is zero. All are positive values. Here, this one is one to zero means. Suppose the circles here. This one is x axis. This one is the unit circle. Here, you know that p is a comma b. A means cos x. A and b cos x. So, and b means sin x. Cos and sin x. This angle is x increasing. Rotation in clockwise directions, or you write anti-clockwise directions. Here we know that suppose the sine x means y coordinate. Yes, 
cos x means x coordinate, sin x is starting from 0, x1 is 0, 0 to it is increasing like this forms, this distance. The sin x, the y values, here y values, this 0, it is come 0 to infinity, it will go away with that. That is 0 to infinity, when x, sin x is. In pi by 2 to pi, the values he become bandhaga, this one is a decreasing form number that it is starting from 1, 1 to 0 regular that. Therefore, you can say that pi by 2 is 1 and pi is equal to 0. This one is downward directions. The graph when I that, it is come to downward directions. It is clear. The next in pi, in third quadrant, pi to 3 pi by 2, pi to 3 pi by 2 bandhaga, it again graph he bharta bharta, the cos x y values kadme ta bharta, negative values so in third quadrant sin is negative here you know that pi is 0 0 in the 3 pi by 2 minus 1 graph he move on ta bharta y values so in the end bharta 0 in the start value minus 1 it is decreasing forms therefore this value is a decrease in downward directions the graph of sin function is in third quadrant is downward directions Next, it is starting from 0 to minus 1 over there. Minus 1 to the graph start of the e values again opposite directions, increasing from the loop type of the y coordinate. E point he will move on the y coordinate. Increase at the other and the positive values of four directions under that. It is starting from minus 1 to 0, it is increasing functions. In first quadrant, sine function is increasing from 0 to 1, second quadrant decreasing from 1 to 0, third quadrant decreasing from 0 to minus 1 and in fourth quadrant increasing from minus 1 to 0. This one is the in one revolutions, in one complete rotations the sine function curve is. And similar way the cosine functions in 0 is 1 while x coordinate is the cos functions. Yes, the x coordinate, it belongs to the x axis. In starting from 0, the cos x values x coordinates are 1 now. It rotate from 0 to pi by 2, the x coordinate is like this form, decreasing forms in downward directions, opposite directions. And then cos of 0 is 1 and in pi by 2, the cos pi by 2 is equal to 0. It means it is a downward direction. Start at the 1 in the 0 over the e direction again. Against the values of cross, in lies in second quadrant cross values, x coordinates are negative. E curve, he gave no more power than that. The value of x coordinate is negative. E bata over the e bata ka y coordinate, e bata ka y coordinate. The value of x coordinate, it is decreasing right to left to left to left to 0 in the start time. Cos of pi by 2 is 0 and cos of pi, its value is minus 1, again decrease at power of that. The curve is like this, 1 to 0, 0 to minus 1, it is decreasing. Next starting, it comes to the third quadrant, third quadrant in Bandhaga, the angles, in the cos values, opposite directions of Bandhaga, in the third quadrant cos is negative, it is starting from minus 1, minus 1 in the start time, Cos of 3 pi pi 2 is 0. Even in the start again, it lines comes to here up to 0. It means this one is increasing, increasing right left to right of time of that. This function is increasing functions. And in fourth quadrant, cos values are positive. X values, x coordinate positive for that. 0 in the start of that graph like this. He will come on that cos values increase and power for that. Here 0 to 1. The direction is 0 to 1, left to right, it is increasing. 0 in the start value of that, 1 to value of that, it is increasing. Therefore, the cost function is in first quadrant decrease 1 to 0, and second quadrant is also decrease 0 to 1. Therefore, in 0 to pi, cost function is decreasing function. And in third quadrant, cost function is minus 1 to 0 increase, and in fourth quadrant, 0 to 1, cost function is increase. It is increasing from pi to 2 pi. This one is the graph of the cos functions. Here increasing upward directions and downward directions. The similar way here define the tan functions. 
Here we know that this one is the unit circle. Here, suppose P is the given point. Here we draw P D is tangent. This one is P D is T is always lies on the x axis. This one is said to be a tan function. So, tan of zero is zero. Two. The rotations in these are the again the graph of tan functions like this. The length of the tangent it is intersect the x-axis at an infinite point. Suppose it reaches pi by 2, this line in tangent is parallel to x-axis, then the length is not defined. Therefore, you can say that it is the positive values in first quadrant, 0 to infinity. It is always increasing forms, values starting from 0, 0 to infinity. The length of this tangent. It is clear? It comes to the second quadrant. After passing through the pi by 2, it comes to here. The, this tangent is intersect the x axis in left hand side. Just the crossing 90, 90 point something, it will intersect the in a very very smallest value of x axis, the length. That one is the very very smallest value sometimes. Therefore, we can say that it is starting from minus infinity. Then it comes to here, 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 the graph of these functions. Next, it reaches the pi, then the tangent value is 0, intersecting the x value is 0, the length of tangent. Therefore, this one is in pi by 2 to pi, it is from, it is infinity. Here, crossing 90, this one is minus infinity to 0, minus infinity to 0 means it is the curve is always increasing forms. And in third quadrant, 0 to it means pi to 3 pi by 2, it is starting from 0, it is positive values, the time functions in third quadrant. It comes to here, you can plot this values, it is starting from 0, 0 in the standard you know, the curve is like this forms, in third quadrant, time function is positive. It is clear? Then it is starting from 0 to infinity, again in this it is clear, in third quadrant, time function is positive. It is starting from, in pi means 0, 0 to infinity. And in fourth quadrant, here you know that in third quadrant, pi to 3 pi by 2, infinity to, the time function is 0 to infinity. In fourth quadrant, this value is, in fourth quadrant, it reaches the negative values. In below the x axis, the negative values. Therefore, it is starting from minus infinity, minus infinity. Increasing functions. Therefore, the tan function is increasing functions always. In first quadrant, increasing from 0 to infinity. In second quadrant, minus infinity to 0. In third quadrant, again 0 to infinity. And in fourth quadrant, minus infinity to 0. The tan function is always increasing functions. Similarly, here you know that this one is the unit circle. The P is the given point. PT is a tangent. Suppose PT dash, it is intersect the y axis PT, this one is PT, this one is the cortex. In 0, it is not defined. 0 point something, it reaches the y axis above the x axis, y values are positive, therefore chord function is positive. It means it is starting from, it is not defined, means it is infinity. 0 point 0 0 0 1, it touch the y axis at an infinite point, therefore you can say that minus and plus infinity to in pi by 2 means 0, it is decreasing infinity to 0. And in second quadrant pi by 2 to pi, it is starting from 0, 0 in second quadrant chord function is negative. It is clear. It is tends to minus infinity. Its value is less than pi is like in second quadrant chord function is equal to negative y axis. The values are negative value then 0 in the start again its value is equal to minus infinity and in third quadrant chord function is positive it is again starting from after crossing 180 degree 180.000 you get the positive values you get the very very biggest values it reaches the y axis therefore its value is infinity to in 3 pi by 2 0 again this one is decreasing 0 to minus infinity is also is decreasing downward directions and in fourth quadrant chord function is negative 0 to it is infinity 
you can say that 0 to infinity and in 0 to infinity we are in negative values in 2 pi the part function is it tends to minus infinity is again decreasing all negative values it is the y axis at the fourth quadrant y axis that one is tan this one is cot and similarly you can define the second x in second functions starting from 1 in 0 means its value is 1 1 2 in pi pi 2 its value is not defined the second function is that value is equal to the unit circle you can say that the x coordinate this one is tangent this one is the second x this one is second functions it is increasing from 1 to the starting from here up to pi pi 2 it is parallel to x axis it is not intersect the y x axis therefore the second function is not defined but 89 point something the second value is very very high it is tends to 1 to infinity 1 to infinity means this function is increasing functions it's clear and after crossing this 90 pi pi 2 it comes to the second quadrant in second quadrant second function is negative Therefore, the values is the very very the smallest values. Left hand side of x axis it means minus infinity to you get its value is equal to minus 1. Minus infinity to minus 1 means this function is increasing functions. Clear? And next the, the it crosses the pi and it reaches the third quadrant. Second function is negative, it is starting from minus 1 to minus infinity because it is negative in third quadrant. Therefore, this downward directions. Next, after crossing 3 pi by 2, it comes to the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, second function is positive. It is starting from infinity to 1. It is infinity to 1 means decreasing functions in fourth quadrant. Therefore, the second function is increasing from 1 to infinity and minus 1 to infinity it means 0 to pi. Second function is increasing functions. Here, pi by 2 second function is not defined, just remember. And similarly, in fourth quadrant and third quadrant second function is decreasing functions minus 1 to minus infinity and 1 to uh, z infinity to 1. It's clear. The next one is uh, cosecant functions. In 0 to pi by 2 cosecant functions is starting, is 0, it is not defined. It not reach the, it means the, suppose in the unit circle, P is the point, PT is a tangent, PT dash is the, this length is counting, here OT dash is the cosecant x. In suppose its value is 0, here we know that this line is parallel to the x axis. The distance of this one is this at this point P is the PT tangent is 0. Here it is parallel to the y axis, therefore, cosecant function is not defined at the point x equal to 0, it is not intersect the y axis. Therefore, it is starting from 0, next uh, infinity. Point 0, 0, 0, 1, the line is intersect the y axis at an infinite point. Therefore, it is starting from infinity, infinity to 1. It means infinity to 1, the function is decreasing function, cosecant functions. The next pi pi to 2 pi cosecant function is positive. It is starting from 1 to infinity, here increasing forms. In pi pi to 2 pi, the cosecant function is not defined. But less than 180 degree pi, 179.555, then it reaches the y axis at infinite values. And similarly, in third quadrant, pi 2, pi means it is not defined. And in left hand side of pi, you get the negative values, it is minus infinity 2. It is, you say that minus infinity 2, 3 pi pi 2 means minus 1, minus infinity 2, minus 1 means it is increasing functions. Minus infinity 2, minus 1. And in fourth quadrant, cosecant function is negative. It is starting from minus 1, minus 1 to infinity. Minus 1 to infinity is again increasing forms. In fourth quadrant, it is negative. Therefore, you say that minus 1 to minus infinity it is decreased. With the help of this, you draw the graph of trigonometric functions. Here you know that and cosecant functions in one complete directions in different quadrants, the same of the graph of trigonometry functions. 
He had brought up the rock octet nominal function you can take it x and y axis, horizontal line x axis and the vertical line y axis. The first one in each unit on the x axis you can take in pi by 2 radian or pi by 2 unit. Here are 3 pi by 2, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, 2 pi. In one revolution, suppose you continue here 5 pi by 2, 6 pi, in left hand side minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, minus 2 pi, like this. The maximum value of sine function is 1, including 1, and the minimum value of sine function is minus 1. Therefore, the curve is only lies between minus 1 to plus 1. The first quadrant 0 to pi sine function is increasing. It is the smooth polynomial curve starting from 0, 0 to 1. In second quadrant, the sine function is decreasing from 1 to 0. The normal direction is the log of this one is the smooth polynomial curve. It is not a straight line. At this point, phi is called the point of inflection. So it changes the direction. It is from or on x to concave. That point is called the point of inflection. So here in plus. And in third quadrant, 0 to minus 1 again decreasing. The curve is changes the directions. This directions to this convex to concave. Next, again in fourth quadrant, pi by 3 pi by 2 pi is increasing from minus 1 to 0. In one cycle, the graph of sine function is like this in one cycle. The trigonometric functions are periodic functions with the period is 2 pi. Therefore, again, draw the continuum to get the graph of the sine functions. This one is the wave cycle forms. The graph is like this. The graph is nice to be on real values of x. But at in minus 1 to plus 1, the value is in the y axis. Therefore, the domain here, the domain of this functions, the sine functions y is equal to sine x, is sine function is set of all real numbers, and the range of the sine functions is equal to the close range towards minus 1 to plus 1. This one is the graph of sine functions. The similarly, the graph of cos functions y is equal to cos x. Here also you can take the cos function is also the lies between minus 1 to plus 1. In each, each unit you can take it pi by 2 units. The maximum value of cos function is plus 1 and the minimum value of cos function is minus 1. Therefore only graph is belongs to the intervals minus 1 to plus 1. Here also in cos functions in first quadrant 0 to pi by 2, it is decreasing from 1 to 0. In 0, cos function is 1 and pi by 2, the cos function is equal to 0. It is a decreasing function. Here pi by 2 is also point of inflection. Curve which changes its nature. In pi by 2 to pi again decreasing from 0 to 1. But the direction is changed but decreasing. This one is the downward direction. And in third quadrant minus 1 to 0 is increasing forms. In pi to 3 pi by 2 is increasing forms. The graph of here 3 pi by 2 is also point of inflection. The curve which changes its nature convex to concave, concave to convex forms. Here in third quadrant 3 pi by 2 to pi 0 to 1. The graph like this forms. This one is in one cycle. The cost function is also periodic functions with the period is 2 pi. Continue like this. The graph is this one. In left hand side is also the graph of cos functions. We get a wave cycle forms. This one is the graph. The curve is lies in set of all real numbers along the x axis. Therefore, the domain is set of all real numbers. And the range is equal to it belongs to only in y axis plus 1 to minus 1. Therefore, the range including plus 1 and minus 1 range is the close with to 1 minus 1 to plus 1. This one is the graph of cos x. The similarly, the graph of tan x is equal to. Here you know that the domain of the tan function is the set of all real number x and odd integral multiple of pi by 2 range is set of all real numbers. You know that. This one is x and y axis in each point to take in pi by 2 unit. Each unit is equal to pi by 2 pi by 2 pi 
three pi by two, two pi, and pi by two along the x-axis. So that is y-axis. In the right hand side, minus pi by two, minus pi, minus three pi by two, minus two pi, something like this. Here you know that the domain is set of all real number except odd integral multiple of pi by two. Now domain is now. Odd integral multiple of pi by two it means pi by two and delete part by two. I mean in the three pi by two and delete part three. Here pi pi by two and pi pi by two and delete part three. In left hand side minus pi by two is deleted and minus three pi by two minus pi pi by two all these are deleted. It not belongs to the domain of the given functions. And the graph in y axis set of all real numbers are exists minus infinity to plus infinity. In first order, it is zero to pi by two. The it is the open interval zero to infinity. It means starting from zero, curve is like this. In starting, very slowly, upward directions, and after nearly equal to ninety, this curve line form. It is not intersect this line. Very close to that line. And the third, second order, minus infinity. It is starting from here, minus infinity to zero. In pi by two to pi, and in third quadrant zero to infinity, pi to three pi by two again is like this. And in fourth quadrant pi by two to pi, it is starting from minus infinity, always upward directions to zero in one directions. Suppose in time function is also periodic functions with the period is two pi, continue like this. And functions graph in left hand side of zero is also like this. Forms is the graph of tan functions. This one is the tan. Here also, what is the domain? Domain of tan function is equal to set of all real number except odd integral pi by two, three pi by two, pi by two minus pi by two minus three pi by two. Therefore, set of all real number except two n plus one n two pi by two. This belongs to the set of integers. What is the range of the tan functions? The range is the curve is between minus infinity to plus infinity along the y-axis. Therefore, range is open integrals minus infinity to plus infinity, or the set of all real numbers. And similarly, graph of the cot functions y is equal to cot x. Here also. Draw the x coordinate and y coordinate. These are the coordinate axes, x axis and y axis. Zero minus two pi. Here you know that the definition of cot, the domain is the set of all real number except integral multiple of pi. Here it will be zero pi two pi. Four pi. Here also zero, two pi, pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, minus pi, minus two pi. We will do all this. The range is set of all real numbers. Here we know that odd functions in first quadrant zero to pi by two is decreasing, decreasing from zero and in infinity to zero. The graph like this is not intersect the y-axis. Is very close to y-axis, nearly equal to zero. Next, in second quadrant, what functions zero to minus infinity again? Decreasing forms, very close to ninety. This curve is close to this line. Next, we say decreasing forms. Next, infinity to it is starting from here. Infinity to positive in third quadrant, infinity to minus infinity. In third and fourth quadrant. Uh, suppose here draw the graph of this line. This forms the same forms. This one is the graph of all functions. Not able to set this line very close to this line. This one is the graph of. What is the domain of these functions? Here the domain is the set of all real number except integral multiple of pi. It's clear. Delete zero pi two pi three pi minus pi minus two pi like this. It is strange. This curve is nicely with respect to the y-axis minus infinity to plus infinity. The range is set of all real numbers. It is 
the graph of count functions. The similarly you draw the graph of second and cosecant functions. Here also this uh, y is equal to second function x axis and y axis 0. Integral multiple of pi by 2 means here we are getting pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, minus pi by 2. It's clear. What is the range of second functions? 1 to infinity and minus 1 to minus infinity. Therefore, including 1, this one is 1. Draw this line parallel to x axis and including minus 1, draw the line parallel to x axis. This points are included. Graph is above plus 1 including and below minus 1 including. Here in first quadrant, it is starting from 1 to infinity. Here 0 to pi by 2, it is starting 1, 1 to infinity in pi by 2. It is not intersecting pi by 2 because pi by 2 is not belongs to the domain of the given functions. And in se second quadrant, pi by 2 to pi minus infinity to minus 1. Its one is minus infinity to minus 1. And in third quadrant, minus 1 to infinity. This one is again so increasing. Yes. And in fourth quadrant, infinity to 0 in one cycle. Suppose continuing in the second cycle, say continue like this forms of here in left hand side of 0 like this forms. This one is the law of second functions. The curve is above and including 1, below and including minus 1. Therefore, what is the domain? Here the domain of this function is set of all real number except all integral multiple law pi by pi. And belongs to the set of integers and the range is equal to. What is the range? The curve is above the y axis above 1 and below minus 1 therefore 1 to infinity or minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. This one is the range of second functions. And the last one is the graph of cosecant function. Tell you that y is equal to cosecant x. Here we will draw the graph of cosecant pi minus 3 pi by 2 minus 2 pi. Here also the domain of cosecant function is the set of all real number except integral multiple of pi. This pi axis and the line parallel to y axis passing through pi, 2 pi, minus pi, minus 2 pi, this values are not exist. And the range is equal to 1 to infinity and minus infinity to minus 1. Therefore, draw the line parallel to x axis passing through the point 0, 1 here 1 and also passing through the point 0, minus 1. This point is minus 1. Curve is above 1 and below minus 1, including 1 and minus 1. In first quadrant, minus infinity to 1 in this and increasing forms. And the second quadrant, 1 to infinity is increasing forms. In third quadrant, minus infinity to minus 1, minus infinity to minus 1, and in fourth quadrant, minus 1 to infinity to one dimensions. This is the same one cycles. Suppose continue the second cycles like this forms on left hand side of origins, the curve is like this. This one is the graph of second x. Here the domain is equal to the domain of this function is equal to set of all real number except integral multiple of y and the range is equal to the curve is above 1 and below minus 1 including 1 and minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to these are the graph sum trigonometric functions using unit circle how to draw the graph of trigonometric functions with the help of unit circle. The first one is sine function. Sine function is here it is starting from 0 this point is moving point the curve the sine values here you know that the y coordinate value is sine here starting from 0 it moving in first quadrant means 0 to 1 this function is increasing. It is clear 0 to 1 the sine function is increasing and 
Next in second quadrant pi by 2 to pi the sine function is the value of sine function means y coordinate y coordinate here is starting in second quadrant pi by 2 to pi it means it lies in the second quadrant sine y coordinate is decreasing kadme aagta baruthe adinne naan nodta idvi the value of y curve is like this the value of y is decreasing forms it is clear id kadme aagta baruthe curve is decreasing from nal baruthe it is decreasing from 1 to 0 Next in third quadrant the value of cos in below the x axis y coordinates are negative therefore the sign value here negative values it is decreasing from here 0 to minus 1 in fourth quadrant 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi you know that sign function is increasing from minus 1 to 0 you know the curve of sine functions. Next draw the graph of cos functions using unit circle. It is here this x coordinate it means abscissa is the cos x in unit circle. Here in final 0 you know that this value is equal to 1. Here the x coordinates are it moving from 0 to pi pi 2 is decreasing. Decreasing from 1 to 0. It is clear 0 to pi by 2 the cos function is uh, decreasing again x coordinate in left here the cos functions value is again decreasing from 0 to minus 1 this one is the cos function say decrease so this values are negative here you know that 0 to 1 this value is decreasing and in third quadrant in third quadrant means pi to 3 pi by 2 the cos function is increasing increasing means minus 1 to 0 minus 1 in the 0 kade bartha irutte x coordinate to that value is the cos x value is increasing in third coordinate here minus 1 to 0 and in fourth quadrant again so you know that cos function is a positive value the curve is above the x axis therefore here you know that this value is positive means it is increasing from 0 to 1 0 in the 1 again. This is value of cos function. Now draw Martha Vandre in 0 to pi decrease at the pi to 2 pi. The cos function is increasing. The next the tan functions, the first quadrant tan functions is positive. The values are positive. This one is the tangent. This tangent is the length of the tan functions. The tan function value. So this value is increasing. Yes, in 0 and the kadme aakta abaratha right it is minus infinity to zero tanka abaratha in second quadrant it means again increasing minus infinity in the start agi zero varigu abaratha in third quadrant again it is starting from the value of x increase aakta abaratha that value is zero to infinity varigu abaratha and in fourth quadrant it is starting from the tan is a the next the graph of cot functions the cot function is always decreases that the infinity in the start tag zero infinity to zero again the cot function is decreased this value is again decrease of power the value of actually this direction no it is not like this it is moving here and tan is also in second quadrant e line e line varate idu decrease aagta varate ellinda zero din the start aagi minus infinity varigu hogta irutte the value of graph and in third quadrant minus is decrease aagta varate the next in fourth quadrant to it is zero din the start agutte this line is zero din the start aagi minus infinity varigu bartha irutte this one is the graph of cot functions the first quadrant it is like this infinity to 0 in second quadrant 0 to minus infinity in third quadrant infinity to 0 it is positive in fourth quadrant 0 to infinity second functions the second function is also you know that the in first quadrant it start from in 0 its value is 1 1 in the illi varigu hogutte infinity varigu hogta irutte the next two minus infinity in the 0 varigu varutte next minus 1 varigu varutte minus 1 in the minus infinity again its infinity to 0 the graph functions in first quadrant the second function is increase 
in third second quadrant second function is increase minus infinity to minus 1 in third quadrant this one is decreasing from minus 1 to minus infinity and in fourth quadrant is also decreasing from infinity to 1 this line is cosecant it is starting from infinity infinity in the kadme atta bandi alli varigu varutte 0 varigu varutte 1 varigu varutte and 1 in the again start again infinity varigu varutte the curve is like this infinity to 1 and 1 to infinity in first and second quadrant cosecant function is positive and in third quadrant cosecant is negative graph this one is minus infinity to minus 1 minus 1 to infinity it means it is increasing from first quadrant and decreasing from first quadrant decreasing in fourth quadrant increasing second quadrant and in the it is sine function cos functions tan functions cot functions second functions and cosecant illi iruvanta line in a color represented the sine cos we collect the some important basic concept one by one we read the first one is the definition of trigonometric ratio using right angle triangles if theta is an acute angle theta is belongs to the intervals 0 to pi pi 2 sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse tan theta is opposite by adjacent cosecant theta is hypotenuse by opposite second theta is hypotenuse divided by adjacent and cosecant theta is cot uh, theta is adjacent divided by opposite sides the, next, the identities or relations the first one is tangent and cotangent tan theta means sin by cos theta and cot theta means cos theta divided by sin theta and you say that the reciprocal identity or the, rela or the relations sin theta is equal to 1 by cosecant theta or cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta cos theta is 1 by second theta or second theta is 1 by cos theta tan theta is 1 by cot theta or cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta the next one is using the very important identities using Pythagorean theorems then you prove that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 1 plus tan square theta is equal to second square theta 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cos x square theta the next one is the standard angles you know that 0 30 45 60 90 degrees are called the standard angles in 0 to pi by 2 here just remember the sign values sign 0 degree is 0 sign pi by 6 is 1 by 2 sign pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 sign pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 sign pi by 2 is 1 the cos theta values just worse way 0 1 by root 2 1 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 0 the tan is exactly the uh, ratio of these two 0 by 1 0 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 is 1 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is root 3 1 by 0 is not defined the similar way you can write cot is the reciprocal of tan second is the reciprocal of cos sin is the reciprocal uh, cosec is the reciprocal of sin next the actual definitions using unit circle x and y coordinate x is represented by axis or x coordinate y is represented by ordinates or y coordinate sin theta is always is equal to ordinate y cos theta is always equal to x coordinate x tan theta is y coordinate divided by x coordinate cosecant theta reciprocal of y coordinate second theta is reciprocal of x coordinate cot theta is ratio of x and y coordinates the general circles suppose you can take the radius of the circle is equal to one unit sin of an angle theta is denoted by sin theta it is the ratio of y by r or the ordinate divided by distance cosecant uh, cosine of angle theta is cos theta it is the ratio of x by r distance divided by ordinate and tangent of an cosine of an angle theta is cos theta x by r axis are divided by distance tangent of an angle theta is tan theta ratio of y by x ordinate by distance cotangent of an angle theta is cot theta x by y axis are divided by ordinates second of an angle theta denoted by sec theta r by x distance divided by axis and cosecant of an angle theta is cosec theta r by y 
r means distance y means ordinates this one is the general circle here r means distance from origin to the given point that is root of x square plus y square normative functions are periodic functions with the period is 2 pi sin of 2 n pi plus theta is sin theta cos of 2 n pi plus theta is cos theta second of 2 n pi plus theta is second theta cosecant of 2 n pi plus theta is cosecant theta and tan of 2 n pi plus theta is tan theta and cot of 2 n pi plus theta is cot theta but you know the in diagrams tan and cot functions are periodic with the period is pi therefore tan of n pi plus theta is tan theta and cot of n pi plus theta is cot theta this one is periodic functions and also you know the trigonometry functions of the quadrant angles 0 pi pi 2 pi 3 pi pi 2 in one rotations sin 0 is 0 pi pi 2 is 1 pi is 0 and 3 pi pi 2 minus 1 cos of 0 is 1 pi pi 2 is 0 pi means minus 1 3 pi pi 2 is 0 tan of 0 is 0 but pi pi 2 is not defined pi is 0 and 3 pi pi 2 is not defined cosecant is 0 is not defined and pi by 2 is 0 and pi is not defined and 3 pi by 2 is cosecant its value is actually wrong cosecant of 0 is undefined pi by 2 is 1 sorry this value is 1 and pi is not defined and 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and second it is the reciprocal of cos uh, sin second is the reciprocal of cos 0 is 1 and pi by 2 is not defined pi means minus 1 and 3 pi by 2 is not defined cot is reciprocal of tan 0 is undefined and cot of pi by 2 is 0 actually it is not 1 is pi is undefined and 3 pi by 2 its value is also 0 it is not is just changing cosecant and cot the value is interchange only there this value is cot and this value is cosecant the next one is domain and range of the trigonometric functions sine domain is set of all real number cos domain is set of all real number tan domain real number except odd integral multiple of pi by 2 2 n plus 1 into pi by 2 and now n plus half into pi n tabri bodu cosecant is all real number except integral multiple of pi second is set of all real number except odd integral multiple of pi by 2 cot is set of all real number except integral multiple of pi similarly the range of the trigonometric functions sine functions values lies between minus 1 to plus 1 means the range is closed interval minus 1 to plus 1 cos is closed interval minus 1 to plus 1 tan is open interval it is not a closed interval it is strictly greater than it, minus infinity and less than plus infinity set of all real numbers open interval minus infinity to plus infinity cot is also open interval minus infinity to plus infinity second is greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to minus 1 cosecant is also greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to minus 1 it means set of all real number except open interval minus 1 to plus 1 the next one is the sign in different quadrant in first quadrant you know that all trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant sine and cosecant positive remaining four trigonometric functions are negative in third quadrant cot tan and cot positive remaining four negative and in fourth quadrant cos and second positive remaining four trigonometric functions are negative the next one is you know that that one is in first quadrant 0 to pi by 2 second quadrant pi by 2 to pi third quadrant pi to 3 pi by 2 fourth 3 pi by 2 to pi first quadrant all positive sin and cos positive in second tan and cot are positive in third quadrant cos and second are positive in fourth quadrant next you know the graph of sine functions cos functions tan functions cot functions second functions and cosecant functions here just remember the domain and range and the period of these functions one complete cycles in 0 to 2 pi functions